Hey everyone, it's Mary Kay with Tin Shed Designs and I have a new card for you. This one is appropriate for just about anything, um, maybe not a guy, but otherwise pretty much anything, any occasion. Um, so let's get started. I, I do want to preface the fact that uh, yes, I am tearing apart an old book, um, but no, it has no monetary value. It was in horrible condition when I picked it up and so I don't want anybody being getting upset that I'm tearing up a book. Um, it's actually got more value using it this way than just letting it rot. So that being said, uh, I'm using my ruler to help tear clean lines to make a three and a quarter by four and a quarter rectangle. And that's a fairly approximate measurement just because, you know, when you're tearing sometimes, like in this portion right here, you know, you have a little trouble, but that's the basic idea. Um, I'm going to use Daisy White ink, uh, the pigment ink that we carry with Close to My Heart, to stamp the swirls. And these swirls come from the Love Life stamp set. Uh, I used a couple of things out of that stamp set. really like it. Um, anyway, now my original intention was to just stamp it in the white pigment ink and heat set it, but not emboss it because Close to My Heart isn't carrying embossing powders any longer. Unfortunately, because the book page is so porous, the ink just sunk right in and it just disappeared. You couldn't see it. So um, I went ahead and pulled out my white embossing powder and um, and went ahead and heat embossed it. Uh, and you can see here that I'm kind of struggling with it. The, the, the book page, the paper is thin, so it, you know, it wants to flip and turn with the, the pressure of the hot air blowing on it. So, and normally I would be using a craft sheet and I could just set it down and, and heat away. But with my cutting mat there, I had to be careful because the heat of the heat gun will warp the cutting mat. So I eventually got smart enough to grab my tweezers and um, hold it because my fingers were getting just a little too hot. Uh, the other problem I had though, I, tr I did try earlier to just use the tweezers, but again, the paper just wanted to flop around in the, in the wind of the heat gun. So I muddled through and got it done. Um, now here I'm stamping and I'm sorry, it's going to go off. Yeah. Off frame here. Uh, I had a new setup and, and I obviously I messed that up, but anyway, um, I took two phrases, I put them together on my clear block and I stamped out the the phrase that's going to be on the front of the card in cocoa ink right on to the um, wood grain paper that comes from the Timberline paper pack. I love that paper pack. It's probably my favorite of all of them. And I went ahead and used the liquid glass to apply the book page to the wood grain paper um, simply because most of the other adhesives I tried, I tried the snail adhesive uh, that tore the page and um, the the red line tape, yeah, yeah, that's too strong to even worry about. I, I probably would have torn the paper pulling the backing off of it. So the uh, just a light dabbing around the edges of the paper with that liquid glass worked great. Now the red line adhesive is perfect for applying this hollyhock zipper tape. Um, it'll hold it forever. I don't have to worry about it once it's down and um, and that's some pretty hefty little you know embellishment there. It's it's not a lightweight flimsy thing so that red line tape is great. Now here is my feeble attempt of showing you that I used my artiste cartridge. Page 29 is the flower that I used and the stamp set that I used um, later on you'll see is Hooray Bouquet and all these item numbers will be at the end of my page or at the end of the video. Um, I've taken the damask um, embossing folder that we carry now and I took blush ink and I swiped it along the recessed side of the embossing folder, meaning the damask print on that side of the embossing folder is recessed so that once I run it through the machine, which you're going to see I'm going to struggle with because um, just because <laughs> I struggle with everything, but you know, I eventually get things done and I'm, I'm okay with that. But um, anyway, so I, I fumblingly get it through there. And um, when I take it out of the embossing folder, you're going to see that um, the damask portion of the embossing folder is now 
is now still white or off-white because I'm using the colonial white and the background is blush pink. Now you want to be a little careful when you're pulling out if you're putting a cut image or a cut design onto your embossing folder. These embossing folders are nice and detailed and your cut pieces want to kind of get caught in there so just be patient. Now I'm using the White Daisy pigment ink again um, with that Hooray Bouquet stamp set to um, stamp some texture onto the flower that I cut out of Whisper cardstock. And um, the the nice thing on the Cricut cartridges and the, the coordinating stamp sets is that it tells you what size to cut it for which flower. So it's awesome. You know, there, you don't have to sit there and fiddle with it and try to figure out what you're doing. So here um, I'm using the Flamingo Dots and of course I decided after I stuck that one down that I wanted the next size up which isn't much bigger but um, or maybe it was just darker I can't really tell but I think it was just slightly bigger anyway um, and then I went back and pulled the little tiny ones to go around it and you're gonna see here that one of them I must have when I took it off the backing sheet I must have left the adhesive on the backing sheet I do that sometimes I get my piercing tool in the wrong spot and so, you know, a little dab of liquid glass and I'm set. That's going to stay there forever, so don't worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and finish that off um, with a couple more of the flamingo dots. And, of course, I'm sitting there trying to... I, I thought, oh, I need to make it perfect. Then I thought, no, it's fine. It's perfect enough. <laughs> um, and uh, this is the mini chevron... Uh, ribbon that we're carrying. This is new in this idea book and it's in the topiary color. And I just took 12 inches of that and decided to um, tack it to get, tack some loops together with some thread, needle and thread. You can use the red line tape, you can use liquid glass. Um, the reason I didn't do the red line tape is I really struggle with pulling off the, the backing of pretty much anything that has a backing on it. Um, I have no fingernails and I have very chunky fingers so little detail work is kind of difficult for me now but you'll see here you could easily use it um, to hold those loops together because I'm using it to adhere the loops to the card and as you can see I'm, I'm struggling to get that backing off. Um, that's why I just figured it was faster for me to sew those loops together but you can put them together any way you like. Um, you know, if you don't want to sew them, use that red line tape. It, it's great. I, I just didn't want to struggle with pulling the backing off. So, and I'm rambling. So let's. <laughs> I'm doing this live time, or or you know, I'm not unscripted. So, yeah, bear with me. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and adhere those loops that you know kind of represent leaves or or just loops. Um, to the card front and I'm kind of seeing how that looks and of course I've got to fuss with it because that's what I do and as I'm doing all of that I'm noticing that the single little tail sticking out just kind of looked funny so I grabbed another couple inches of the the um, ribbon and tacked that down with the red line tape and I'm going to use the foam tape to pop up the flower just to give it a little extra dimension um, and also because there's so many different levels sitting there between the loopy ribbon and the hollyhock zipper tape and everything else that I figured the um, dimensional foam tape would you know help that sit a little easier. I'm also just kind of roughing up those petals. You can see I'm just trying to put a little curve to them before I attach it. And that gives it another, another layer of dimension um, so that it's not just kind of flat uh, sitting there. And, and there we go. Now this is where I get those flamingo dots out again and I'm using the different sizes and a couple different colors. Uh, you get I believe three colors and three sizes. Um, I don't have them sitting in front of me at the moment so but I think that's what you get in the packet. So you, you know there's a lot of versatility and I'm just placing them kind of where the swirls end um, obviously you can put them anywhere you like. Uh, I just like them they kind of give a you know, little pop of color to that upper area that's otherwise a little bit plain. Um, I also got the um, 
bitty sparkles out and these are teeny tiny sparkles and I just added those here and there just for another little um, a little punch to the card and uh, I'm going to go, sorry going to <laughs> use some more of the foam tape to adhere the card front to the base and the base is just a typical a2 card you know four and a half by or four and a quarter by five and a half sorry about that um, I like popping up my card fronts every now and then it just it just makes it feel a little more important than just sitting flat on there but you know you're certainly welcome to if you decide to make this card just do it straight down onto the card base um, Right now I'm working on the inside of the card. Uh, I like to put a you know a little something on the inside just to make it special. So I just took a piece of the Colonial white cardstock, cut it down to uh, four by five and a quarter, I believe, or maybe that one's four by five. Uh, anyway, uh, and I took some blush ink and another flower from that Hooray Bouquet set, and I um, stamped it off first just to kind of lighten it a little and I stamped the flowers around a couple of times and then I'm adhering it to a piece of cocoa cardstock which is four by five and a quarter so the lighter color would be three and three quarters by five and then I'm taking a sentiment from that same Hooray Bouquet set it says you make me smile stamping that in cocoa ink and I'm going to add one more flamingo dot you can't tell because I have it off or have, you know it'll be off frame when I do that um, just kind of to point you know make a period at the end of the state you know the sentence or the sentiment I'm sorry Ugh. anyway using some of the uh, bonding memories glue to adhere the inside and and I'm done there you go simple super simple um, lots of different techniques used in this card but um, you know I, I I'm really happy with the way it turned out um, I do want to let you all know that um, in the, during the month of April, April 1st through the 30th, uh, there, there's a really outstanding promotion going on. And um, Close to My Heart has decided that for anybody that wants to sign up to become um, a consultant with Close to My Heart during that month, they will receive not only the really awesome kit, which if you saw my previous video, it shows everything in the kit, but you also have your choice of uh, any one of the three close to my heart Cricut cartridges that we offer. So you just choose whichever you want. You get it absolutely free. And, um, you know, that's quite an incentive. I, 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 I'm, I'm, boggled I, you know I think it's awesome so um, I'm going to have more detailed information on that promotion on my website and you can either email me which that email address is coming up right there or uh, right after this you'll see my um, website address if you go to the tin-shed-designs.com site sorry that's kind of hard to say um, it'll have all the details on there for you so uh, you know check it out and if you have any questions just let me know uh, I'd be more than happy to talk with you about it and you know thanks so much for watching y'all have a great day